Hi guys and welcome back. Just a short video for you today to explain my new little technique that I have for editing images. I'm going to be using a Fuji file, a Fujifilm file, a raw file here, and I'm going to be using a Fujifilm JPEG here from an old CCD camera. And I'm just going to show you the technique quickly. I do hope you've got a basic understanding of Darktable because I will be going through this quite quickly but hopefully slow enough so that you understand what's going on. I'll start with the raw file and I'll double click on it. As you can see, it's already a nice little raw file. It just needs the exposure corrected, a few bits and pieces and away to go. So my first protocol, as always, is the lens correction, which I'll hit. And the second thing I always do is to adjust the rotator's perspective especially when there's houses or architecture involved. So I'll hit the open it up. I'll press this third icon across, which shows me where things are. Then I'll fit it there, the first one, automatically correct it. And there we go. So it's already correct. My next step is always then to crop. So I'm going to crop on the rule of thirds for the tall building. Hit it there. And I'll go back then into my quick access panel. Right, this is where the process begins. I'm going to press O on the keyboard, which will give me highlight and um, shadow warnings. And I will push that exposure. And I will keep pushing it until it feels like it's going to break my picture, but not quite. So I'm happy with this. Obviously, I could go a lot further, but that would destroy the image. But I will just bring it back a bit there. Then I hit the Filmic button, which gets rid of the um, overexposure. I hit the Auto-Tune levels, which brings a little bit back, but I'm not worried about that. Then I can press the All button again, because I won't be needing that. Hit the Local Contrast, so it brings it to life a bit. Come across. Then I use the contra Contrast Equalizer, and I add Clarity at 70%. Now, sometimes you'll need to add more, sometimes you'll need to add less, but I find 70% is a good medium ground. The next thing, to finish it off, or almost finish it off, I go into the Color Zones menu, and then I change the brightness of this blue sky. So I want the blue sky to be a bit brighter. There we go. I, the Chroma, I like to bring down a bit, just a little bit. And the hue, I change the hue until I get that blue of the sky that I want. The portrait kind of blue. There we go. And as you can see, there's my portrait skies. My finisher step is framing. There we have it. That is basically one of my edits done. Obviously, I would do other tweaks, such as uh, removing objects, etc. But that is the basic of my editing. The next image I will look at is a JPEG image, and I will do the same again for you. This is a dark, overcast day, so slightly different than a bright, sunny day, and it will have a slightly different look. No lens correction needed. I will use the rotate perspective. I do that on everything because it does make a difference. It just gets things right. There we go. And then I will crop. Again, I always crop at 5 to 4 ratio because that's what I like to use. And I will put that there in the center of the frame. Then press O on the keyboard, bring up that exposure until you're almost breaking the photo. There we go. Hit Filmic. Hit the Auto Tune levels. There we go. I'm happy with that. Hit the local contrast, come into the contract equalizer, hit the clarity in the contrast equalizer. There we go. Now, this was a very dark day today, this was taken. So it's right, and they, unfortunately, they had very dark clothes on, but that's fine. The next thing I'm going to do is the skies. 
So rather than go through all that again, I've set up a color zone for portrait skies. There we have it. If I want to make them brighter or darker, I can simply come into here and change the color slightly. And I'm happy with that. Now I do want to raise the brightness of the bottom area. So I have spoken about this before, but the tone equalizer is perfect for that. So I'm simply going to hit the masking, hit the exposure mask, then I hit the, both these little wizard tools and I'll check what's available to do, which I'm happy with most of this area. Yeah. And then I'm going to turn this off and just raise up the, the different brightnesses here. So there we go. Happy with that. Now with the tone equalizer, I see a lot of people worrying about it. But the more you think about it, the more complicated it gets, okay? So just as I said before, just follow those rules. Hit the masking, hit the exposure mask, hit the two little wizard buttons, and then go into it. You can adjust, because some of these areas are, are higher than the actual minus 8. Some of these are minus 11 or minus 14. Now you could, if you wanted to, just come into the quantization and just slightly adjust that, and then you'd be playing with minus sevens, etc. And you can adjust those instead. But as I said, don't worry too much about that because there's no need to. Just just do the basics first and then play with it. Final thing, hit the framing, and there we have it. So We'll come back into this image here. I'll take a snapshot. I'll go back to the crop and I'll show you the before and after. There we go. Okay, now that is it. I come back into this. Both the images of the lovely skies, lovely and bright. I particularly like this image. It's very nice, as you can see. So now if I do, do a snapshot of the sun as well. You can see exactly what's what with it. You can just come to this and you can see that there. Perfect. There we go. I hope you found those useful and thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and don't forget to visit my website www.onecameraonelens.com Thank you very much.